on a walk, the dog starts barking at something in the distance. I look from his face to the far off slope at the Hollywood sign. It's suddenly occurring to our dog that we have moved to Los Angeles permanently. <laughs> and suddenly occurring to me too, me and my dog both, barking at a hill with letters on it, which is suspiciously the most noteworthy image in the entire city. Oh, Los Angeles, who even are you anyway? <laughs> Why don't you ever pick up your phone? Why do you always keep reintroducing yourself? Shake with both hands. Even when I grew up a few towns south of you, you refused to look down. When people asked my father where we were from, he said, Southern California, rather than invoke your name. I spent 10 years at New York City, scurrying across screeching subway platforms, scoffing at your name. In our 20s, Sarah and I promised we wouldn't let each other move to L.A. <laughs> and yet, Los Angeles, here I am, embarrassed and comfortable. You opened your doors without hesitation, did not look up. We both wonder sometimes what the other stands for as if home weren't always a mirror we mistake for a wall. How we both left our parents for the opposite coast. How inside you I'd suddenly crave fast food again. Reach for a jacket in 65 degree weather. Wander into a Target just to see what they've got. <laughs> Do you see how you and I have both changed and haven't? Do you see how I've come back with parts of me sloughed off, the negative spaces to be filled, the high school friends I hadn't seen in years, the memories we tried to dig up, how an old tongue is an awkward shovel. Do you see how you and I both notice the weather more now, but talk about it less, how you stopped counting how many people say your name, the new wrinkle around your eyes. How someone once said, you two just look so similar. You must have grown up together. <laughs>